is session three of things that wound us and today I just want to look briefly at abuse. It's a huge area of wounding. It can take a myriad of forms like physical, sexual, psychological, verbal or even just neglect. And it is a complete denial of what Jesus says in Luke 6.31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Abuse occurs when one person imposes their desires, their needs or their will on another person without regard to that other person's well-being. Sexual abuse is a huge area and it covers from inappropriate touching to rape. It's a violation of another person. And the effects of being abused in this way have huge effects. It can lead a person to false guilt. I must have done something terrible to deserve this. It can cause low self-esteem. I'm only worth what someone else can use me for. It can lead to a deep sense of shame, the feeling of being bad or dirty. And it can affect the way the person lives out their life. Some become promiscuous, Others just recoil and build barriers around themselves for protection and can't make healthy relationships. Others try to numb the pain with drugs or alcohol. Physical abuse can range from violence to neglect. Violence leads a person to feeling unsafe, worthless. I don't deserve anything better than this. They're powerless to do anything about it. A child growing up in a violent family will learn that the way to deal with your problems is with violence. Others will simply try again the drugs or the alcohol to numb the pain. But neglect is also a form of abuse. A neglect of a child, not giving them a safe home, not giving them proper nourishing food, um, all those things that they need is neglect. Also not giving them the physical affection that a child needs, it's all neglect. In an adult relationship, the neglect can come by one person simply denying the other their basic rights. Abuse takes many forms, but its outcome is always the same. It damages the person who receives it. Does God care? Yes, he does. In Ezekiel 34, God passed judgment on the leaders of Israel because he said they were more concerned about looking after themselves than they were about looking after the people. And he says this, and he's using the term of sheep and shepherds again. I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you shove with flank and shoulder, butting all the weak sheep with your horns until you've driven them off, I'll save my flock and they will no longer be plundered. Jesus in his ministry showed that every single person was important and this was summed up in that verse, do to others as you would have them do to you. The good news for those who have been abused is that there is healing. God wants to heal and to set you free. We'll be looking in more detail at the end of the series on how this can happen. But the command for all of us is to respect other people, to treat them as God's special children.
Thank you.